a spotted hyena can eat a third of its own body weight in a single sitting, enough to last it a week. And they aren't in a hurry to leave. The once bulbous rhino has been dramatically reduced. Its chewed through hip bone stands as testament to the incredible jaw strength and crushing premolars of the hyenas. With less meat left on the carcass, competition is rife. The approach of the alpha female sends the others running. Her swollen stomach is a sign she's already full, but she continues to take as much as she can. While this may seem unnecessary, it's driven by her instinct to reproduce. The more she eats, the more milk she can produce and the shorter she can go between pregnancies. This results in her successfully raising up to five times as many pups as lower ranking females. But she'll have no help in feeding her young, so it's imperative for her that she makes the most of every opportunity to feed. Eventually satisfied, the alpha female and high-ranking members of the clan leave. The young male finally gets his chance to feed on the kill he found. He doesn't waste any time and dives straight in, deciding on a more direct approach. But with only one hyena left, the vultures sense their opportunity. Sometimes even the most powerful carnivores buckle under the weight of pressure from other scavengers. His stomach drives him to return. He's not prepared to give up his prize just yet. Lacking the slicing teeth of the hyenas, the vultures can't pierce the rhino's skin, which means the young male only needs to defend the open side of the carcass. Eventually, he decides enough is enough, and the frenzy begins. At 12 pounds, the white-backed vultures can gobble a fifth of their weight in meat in less than five minutes. Unlike the hyenas and jackals, Vultures seldom hunt for themselves, relying mostly on carrion for their food. And these typically green-necked immatures will have to learn quickly how to get their share in the maelstrom. But they should take care. In their frenzied feeding, white-backed vultures will occasionally get trapped deep inside the carcass and face the grisly end of being eaten alive by their peers. A much larger cape vulture enters the fray, weighing as much as 20 pounds. Its neck is flushed red with excitement. Normally, cape vultures would dominate the white-backed, using their larger size to intimidate them. But the sea of feathers is impenetrable, 
even to the bigger birds. Together, the vultures will make short work of the carcass, taking whatever the hyenas have left behind.